the number of occupations suffering skill shortages has nearly doubled in the past year with authorities now looking at the best ways to address the problem although update to visa opportunities won't be automatic the federal government funded national skills commission's 2022 skills priority list found 286 occupations had shortages nationally compared to 153 occupations in 2021 the staggering jump in occupations listed reinforces the urgent need to tackle skills shortages, Skills Minister Brendan Okno said on Thursday. So guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, you are welcome. My name is Ami. I'm an immigration content creator living in Portugal. This is one of the news that was released in Australia last week regarding the labor shortage Australia is currently facing. They are in dire need of skilled migrants or skilled workers who are interested in working and living in Australia. They recently released a list of jobs in demand, about 20 of them is big. So if your sector or your field is among the jobs I'll be mentioning in this video, then congratulations to you because Australia is in need of you. You can also check some of the videos I've already made about Australia, a success story of a Nigerian family who recently migrated from Lagos, Nigeria to Australia on a sponsored visa, including flight tickets. I've also talked about six Australian companies that are hiring massively, offering visa sponsorship to foreign workers, all links will be in the description box of this video so you can check them out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're yet to subscribe. Please share my videos with your friends and your loved ones. Thank you very much and keep watching. So here is the list of jobs in demand in Australia. The first one is registered nurses. And the vacancies at the moment in Australia is 9,226. The next one is software and applications programmers, 7,841 vacancies in Australia. The third one is age and disabled carers, 5,101 vacancies. Construction managers are also needed in Australia with the vacancies of 4,984. Child carers is also one of them, 4,549 vacancies. The next one is motor mechanics, 4,316 vacancies in Australia. Retail managers, 4,244 vacancies. Chefs are also needed in Australia with the vacancies of 4,141. The next one is ICT Business and System Analyst, 3,830 vacancies. The next one is Metal Fitters and Mechanics, 3,565 vacancies. Cooks are also wanted in Australia with the vacancies of 3,438. The next one is electricians, 3,396 vacancies. Then civil engineering professionals, about 3,268. We have contract program and project administrators. They are also needed. They are high in demand jobs in Australia with 2,842 vacancies. General practitioners and resident medical officers are also wanted in Australia, 2,306. The next one is early childhood pre-primary school teachers, 2,253 vacancies. Physiotherapists are also needed in Australia, 1,482. The next one is mining engineers, 1,048. Then we have gardeners, 1,038 auditors, company secretaries, and corporate treasurers are also needed in Australia, 868. Hmm. 
So these are the jobs in demand in Australia. Mr. Curtis said the most likely first change would be an update to the Commonwealth Priority Migration Skilled Occupation List, a list of 44 jobs that are needed to fill critically skills shortages in Australia. Applications from people in these occupations are fast-tracked through Commonwealth and state and territory visa processing schemes. Most recently, the occupations of a hospital pharmacist, industrial pharmacist, and retail pharmacist were added to the list in July 2021. Changes to longer scale occupation list, which can include more than 400 occupations and are used to inform decisions on short term. Regional and other state and territory sponsored visas are likely to take much longer. Those lists are much longer and they don't necessarily change as often, Mr. Coty said. They are determined by the minister taking advice from Home Affairs and the Skills Commission, but it doesn't automatically flow through from the work of the Skills Commission. The chief executive of the National Employer Association, AI Group, Ines Willox, said the release of the Commission's priority skills list was a reminder of the importance of the migration program to fill in immediate skills gaps. Programs such as the 482 Temporary Skill Visa are of growing importance to businesses as they struggle to find workers locally, Mr. Willock said. While the National Skills Commission data are separate from the Department of Home Affairs Priority Skilled Occupations list, it should provide important input as that list is updated. The Commission's report noted that the ongoing effect of COVID-19, along with the changing economic landscape, had contributed to a range of challenges in many occupations including health professionals and teachers. In the meantime, ongoing issues in the labor market remained, such as persistent shortages of technicians and trade workers, the report stated. The report revealed the number of jobs advertised in Australia had increased by 42% compared to the same time last year, with 309,900 jobs advertised in August 2022. More than half of the 20 largest employing occupations, including age and disabled carers, electricians, store person, or waitress, were facing skills shortages. These are the jobs in demand in Australia. I hope you find this video very informative. Please give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel for more informative videos. Please share my videos with your friends and your loved ones. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Ciao.